Hey there, Chad Bonger here for High University Libraries. If you're doing research on an international market, one way you could do research is to go to different countries and do things like look around their house, see what they wear, see what they eat, see what they drink, go to work with them, see what their work conditions are like, things like that. Even open their refrigerators, okay? But the easier way to get research on an international market is to use Passport GMIT. This video is going to show you how to use the Consumer Lifestyle Reports in Passport GMIT to better understand the broad overview of an international market. So here you go. So when you get to Passport GMIT, to find the um, Consumer Lifestyle Reports, you'll go to Countries and Consumers and just click on Consumer Trends and Lifestyles. And this will take you to the home page where you can basically select your country for your Consumer Trends and Lifestyles. So once you get on this page, you'll just go under uh, Consumer Lifestyles here and select the country you're wanting. And so if we want, we can choose a country. I'm just going to choose Germany here. And when you select someone, a country, you'll notice that the bar uh, changes to blue. Just click Go there. It will take you into the uh, Consumer Lifestyles report for the particular country that you chose. And so here we have, you know, it starts off with some general consumer trends. And you can see it gives you an outlook and impact for what's going on in the in the main trends areas there. Okay, so this is just basically the first page of the consumer trends and lifestyle. You can see how much information is there just in that one one section there. Okay, so what you can do is go over here, and that's just in the consumer trends section. And you'll see there's different segmentation things for uh, babies and infants, kids, teenagers, and teens. You go down and you see there's information for household and household income, things like that. Uh, you have uh, stuff on you know work conditions and things like that. Uh, eating, drinking habits, smoking, personal appearance, fashion, fashion trends, health and wellness, leisure, recreation, consumer technology, transport, and money. All kinds of good information, and particularly if you're just wanting to get a broad overview of an international market, want to explore the opportunities that are there. Uh, this gives you some of the some of the broad information that you can find for that information there. You can also download the report as a show whole report here and then download the whole thing if you want to um, as, a, as a PDF as well. So um, so pretty good information there. As a PDF you can kind of see the extent of the information here. I'm just going to kind of scroll quickly and just kind of show you highlights of some of the information here in the table of contents and you can see this thing is 74 pages long. So really great place to get an overall analysis of a particular international market. You see there's all kinds of statistics and things like that. So a great, great resource for getting broad overview, broad perspective of uh, an international market or uh, the, the consumer market, consumer lifestyles in another country. And just imagine, get all this data without having to go to someone else's country or look in someone else's refrigerator. Hopefully this helps you. If you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'm glad to help you any way I can. Thank care and have a great day.